So yesterday, the second trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine was released. The movie that I personally, and like many others, am most looking forward to. In fact, the first trailer had an unimaginable success. Climbing the charts of the most viewed trailers of all time. Well, but now let's talk about the trailer. So the trailer opens with Logan in a bar full of Canadian flags, which makes us think it's a Canadian bar and not by chance since Ryan Reynolds is Canadian. By the way, it could very well be the same bar where Logan appears as a cameo in X-Men Origins when Magneto and Charles Xavier go to ask for his help. We hear a dialogue between a bartender quite annoyed by Logan, telling him to leave and that nobody wants him, with Logan not too lucid asking for another glass. Here Deadpool enters the scene, with the new costume given to him by the TVA, so potentially the scene where he is recruited by the TVA comes first, calling Logan Peanut, which is quite funny. Beyond the joke, Deadpool seems quite worried and in a hurry, needing Logan's help, who initially mistakes him for a woman and then refuses and tries to pull out his claws but being drunk he can't do it, and is mocked by Deadpool, who, annoyed, pulls out a gun with the inscription, smile, wait for the flash. A rather sad song starts playing and the scene shifts to the void. In fact, we see the Fox logo and the Toronto Tower and a replay of the final scene of the first trailer with Deadpool and Wolverine ready to fight. Then we move on to Wade's birthday party and we hear Wade in the background saying that his life and everyone he loves are in danger. And he's talking about it with Wolverine who doesn't care. And Wade here accuses him of ruining his world. And here we move to a quite strange location with monolithic stones and fields of grain with a younger looking Logan who seems emotionally destroyed by something. And right after we go back to the TVA with Paradox injured in the nose, probably he took a punch from Logan, describing this Wolverine as a loser. Okay, so here we need to stop for a moment because from these last scenes, a lot could be understood about Logan's role in the movie. What we know is that here Logan is disappointed, sad, annihilated by something that happened in his past because of him. Paradox himself tells us that he caused the destruction of his world, and that strange flashback where we see him destroyed could confirm it. The fact that all his friends died because of him connects him to the universe where Logan happens, where Wolverine lost all his friends. So it's not that this Logan and the Logan of Logan are the same person, but in two different periods of the timeline, and that this Logan is recruited by Wade much earlier than the Logan events. But what caused the destruction of Logan's world? Well, there would be the theory, according to which by traveling in time, he became a variant and brought the TVA to reset his reality. And maybe the same thing will happen to Deadpool, since he also traveled in time at the end of Deadpool 2, and that's why he's worried and in a hurry. The trailer continues with a too cool scene of the two, fighting and beating each other up. Then we see them in a fast food restaurant with Wade asking Logan to talk to him about his past, but the two continue to insult each other. Then the scene completely shifts to a destroyed city street where probably there was a fight and where the two will fight together. And we see Wolverine, oh my God, what biceps. Okay, sorry, sleeveless super pumped and Deadpool with double golden guns. The same ones we see used by the samurai Deadpool variant in the set photos. So somehow Deadpool gets them, maybe killing him. We then have a more serious dialogue with Deadpool, who is even more worried than before telling Logan that he's the only one who can save the world. But Logan, still upset about his past, tells him that it's not true. We go back to the fast food scene and Wade refers to Weapon X and the fact that Wolverine is an X-Men. By the way, as we know, this movie will be full of fourth wall breaks. And one of these is when Deadpool, before clashing with Logan in the void, looks at the camera and says he's wet for the fight that is about to happen. Well, he's not the only one. Then we have a series of scene changes starting with Deadpool smashing TVA Minutes Men, a pretty bloody scene. Then we see Cassandra Nova standing up from Charles Xavier's chair. If you want to know more about Cassandra, watch the video where I talk about her in detail and explain her connection with Xavier. Then it resumes the fight between the two. We see a series of frames where Deadpool still fights with the Minutes Men, Wade getting dressed with the new suit, Logan and Deadpool fighting in the car, again Cassandra, Alioth, and then we see a crazy scene. In fact, in the same scene, we have Giant Man, Azazel, Deathstrike, Pyro, and the Red Skull's car, which we see more in detail in the next scene. Then we see Logan drinking in what seems to be the same cave, where in the first trailer we see Hulk's bed on Sakaar in Thor Ragnarok. Then we see Dogpool, which confirms the presence of the Deadpool course with Lady Deadpool and many other versions of Wade. Then we have the same car that we already see in the first trailer, Mad Max style, which according to some theories would be equipped to defend itself from Alioth, then other fighting scenes, and above all, a fight between Wolverine and Cassandra Nova, who will probably be the villain of the film. Another fight, yes, the movie will be full of them. And then we go back to the cave, where now we clearly see Hulk's bed with Deadpool. And in the next scene, Wolverine screaming the film's slogan, let's fucking go. And then what I think is the final scene of the film and the most beautiful of the trailer with Deadpool and Wolverine entering a portal like strangers. Who knows if he'll appear as a cameo? 
And then as we know, somehow the two have to end up in the MCU universe. Also, we see in the background, Alioth very, very big. In the last scene, we see Wade and Blind Al breaking the fourth wall, talking about something forbidden in Feige's MCU. Among other things here, there's also a reference to Frozen when they talk about snowmen. The trailer closes like this. So I don't know about you, but I can't wait for this movie to come out because it's going to be a bomb, literally. I hope I've been helpful and haven't forgotten anything. If so, subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks and see you next time. And let's fucking go!